guys, welcome back to another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today, I'm testing out a pretty interesting team here that my buddy Chad threw together. Basically, I wanted to try out Alolan Ninetales along with Alolan Sandslash, and uh, it seems like it should be pretty interesting here. My opponent is running some pretty strong threats. He does have the Como O along with the Golossopod, and he also has an Alolan Golem, which I have not actually ran into yet. So, this is a pretty fun one. I'm still trying to get a feel for this team. I definitely need some more practice with it, but uh, let's go ahead and just get into the match here. So, from looking at the team preview it looked like his best option for a lead was probably the Alolan Golem considering he could set up rocks and stuff like that so I decided to lead off with my Sableye who can then taunt that thing and not have to worry about that so he does actually end up leading off with Duck Hunt Pro which is the Alolan Golem rocking the sickest beard ever and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna go straight for the taunt he actually expects that and he's now gonna switch into his uh, Kamala which I've actually not really played against a whole lot. Honestly, I knew what this thing's ability does. He does have the comatose. You can't get this thing any status conditions. But check this out. So I go for the taunt, and then I actually end up hitting Will-O-Wisp. The second I clicked it, I was like, well, that's not going to do a damn thing because this thing's sleepy as hell, and he can't be burned. So that's kind of annoying. Definitely a nice little early misplay on my end. I don't really know what the hell I was thinking. I was like, I want this thing burned, and then I was looking at it, and I was like, wait, this thing's ability is something that stops that. So that was stupid. But... At least, I mean, I would have just gone for the foul play anyway, and it wouldn't have done much into the switch here as the uh, the Primarina comes out. So that's really not too bad. Honestly, it doesn't really set me back. So I'm not going to switch out. I am a special wall, but I don't really have much to hit that thing with. So I decided to switch into all DJ Khaled here, who is going to absorb the force of the damn moon here, because I'm fat as hell. So... With the Assault Vest, I'm able to take that really nicely, and he wants to save his Primarina for later, so he's now going to switch out into You Go Big Guy, which is the Glossopod. And these things are super damn scary. With the first impression, this thing could definitely cause some problems, and I'm really worried about this thing uh, really just doing damage to my team. So I go for the Body Slam, he actually ends up having the Rocky Helmet, which does definitely hurt me, but at this point, I do not have a switch into really anything this guy wants to go for. So I just go for another Body Slam, I actually end up outspeeding this thing, and I was like, what the hell, Snorlax is on his Usain Bolt grind out here. Here, and <laughs> that's I did not expect that honestly but uh, yeah so that's gonna <laughs> activate the emergency exit and that allows him to bring in the Alolan Golem again so at least I got like over half damage on the damn Glossopod so that's pretty cool he right decided to switch into the Alolan Ninetales basically because I was actually expecting him to go for the stealth rock so I figured I'd be all smart and get this thing in before the rocks come but he goes for the double edge, and that is going to actually end up taking 69 tails out, which is really annoying. I was able to get the the, uh, the hail up at least, but honestly, I was not expecting him to just go for the attack there. But uh, yeah, so that's quite unfortunate. Lost my nine tails. I don't have any way to set up hail for the rest of the match here, but now I've got a little bit of a comeback on my hand. So I am able to bring in the Alolan Sandslash, who doesn't have the ability that raises your speed in the hail, so I figured I'd take advantage of that while I've got it. So I go for the Earthquake, and the big-ass beard dude is going to go down. So seeing the golem go down is definitely nice but uh yeah so i lose some hp for my life orb and this thing is basically just made to outspeed shits and just do hella damage so now he's gonna go back into the koala bear here and rest assured i'm not gonna go for any status conditions i've learned my lesson there freaking comatose but i'm now gonna switch back into my sableye here considering i wasn't really sure what he was gonna want to go for but i know i can take at least one attack from this thing so he does end up going for the earthquake and i love that thing's attacking animation does a little spin freaking awesome the Kamala thing actually is really cool. I'm not even sure how viable this thing is. I do kind of want to try one of these babies out, though. But anyway, so after the hail damage, we're both going to get our leftovers being fat asses over here. Basically just having a damn picnic on the battlefield. But my plan here is to just go for the Prankster Recover just to see. I'm expecting him to probably just want to go for the U-turn because he most likely does not want to take a foul play. But I do go for the Recover here just because I want to ensure that I do not die. And at this point, it's going to bring me back to about full as he actually does end up going for the U-turn. And I'm not really sure what he wants to bring in here. My plan there going for the recover was basically just to see what kind of offensive power he wants to use to take out Sableye because Sableye is kind of a problem to his team. But he ends up bringing out the Koma O, and that's actually not too bad for me considering he is going to have to use this thing to knock out Sableye. If he does, I'll have a free switch into whatever I want. But at this point, I really don't have anything that wants to switch into a clanging scale, so I decided to leave Sableye in here just in case this dude wants to start going for, like, dragon dances or something, because I have seen both physical and special attacking come out, oh, so you don't really know what you're going to run into. But I go for the recover there, just to see if I can take an attack from this thing, as he does end up going for the clanging scales. And I am able to live that due to the recover, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take another one. But uh, the, it, the thing about playing against Como o is there's really not a lot of hard switches into this thing. I mean, obviously, if you have a fairy type, I could potentially, if I still had nine tails, that would be pretty damn useful. But I'm expecting this thing to be choice specs, judging by that damage. I didn't run any damage calcs, but I'm just going to go for one last uh, little ditch effort will-o-wisp there, just to get a little bit of damage before I die. And he is going to take me out with another clanging scale. So... 
He's going to lower his defense. I am kind of bummed that I lost Sableye because it would have been really useful, but this does allow me to get some, some shit going on. So I do have a couple options into a revenge switch into this guy. So I do decide to go into Serial Killer with his spoons just ready to go. And I am actually a Mega Alakazam. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the Mega Evolution here. I do have the Trace ability, and that's going to come into play a little bit later on. It's actually going to make a big difference. But you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more spoons, ready just to eat some more cereal, as I'm going to go ahead and trace his Bulletproof ability, which really doesn't make a difference. But I go for a Psy Shock. I'm assuming he doesn't really have any switch-ins to Alakazam. So he has to let his coma o die, and it is good to see that thing go down. That is a dead-ass Scaly Dragon. So... At this point, now he's going to bring back out the Glossopod, and I do not want to take a first impression, so I have to get Serial Killer the hell out of here. So, my best option is Sanic, because I do resist that, and I will be able to outspeed this thing, even seeing as freaking Snorlax outspeed this thing. So, the first impression is not going to do a whole lot of damage, and I can now scare this thing out with pretty much any attack. So, he's actually going to go ahead and switch into his Serena here. He decides to basically just sack this thing off. Sailor Moon is going to take an Icicle Crash right to the fabulous hips and yeah, that is unfortunate because this thing did not get to do a damn thing so down goes that but this does allow him a free switch into whatever he wants and keep in mind that him keeping the Glossopod is definitely key seeing as it's really the only um, check to my Alakazam who basically beats the rest of his team so he really needs to play that Glossopod nicely so now he's gonna bring back out the Kamala and at this point I really don't have any reason to switch out so I'm just gonna stay in here go for an Icicle Crash potentially hope for the flinch or whatever but that's kind of stretching but I just wanted to get as much damage as possible it actually almost ends up taking this thing out and uh, he's gonna end up finishing me off with an earthquake in return so down goes Sonic but at least I was able to take out the Serena I actually probably should have saved this thing for the threat of the Glossopod later but I figured he probably had Aqua Jet, which would have probably been able to take me out later, but anyway, so now this damn koala bear is still over here just about to damn fall asleep, he's, he's drowsy as hell over here, and this allows me to bring in my faux sizzle, which is my salazzle, so I bring out the fabulous white lizard, honestly probably best shiny in the game, as I'm able to just finish this thing off with a nice little sludge wave to the face, so down goes your cuddly ass bear, you hate to see it, but I had to do it buddy, sorry about that, so at this point he has two Pokemon left, he has the Glossopod along with the Primarina, and I know that I need to keep around Salazzle if I want to take out that Primarina, so now he's going to bring back out the Glossopod, and at this point it, it pretty much makes sense that he's going to go for the Aqua Jet, so I decide to switch into Snorlax here, who, assuming that he goes for the Aqua Jet, I should be able to take two, so he does go for the Aqua Jet, I am going to be able to just barely be able to live two of these, as he's going to go for the second one, just hoping for maximum damage, but DJ Khaled ain't going down that easy, that's a major key, and I'm able to go for a Body Slam, which actually doesn't end up taking this thing out, and I'm actually going to die to the Rocky Helmet, so that is quite unfortunate, and uh, the only thing I can do at this point is bring in Serial Killer, I know they can't go for the first impression, really all he's got on me is Aqua Jet, so I go ahead and trace his emergency exit, and that could cause some problems, I actually ran damage Calyx and it was looking like Aqua Jet wasn't going to be able able to do half to me, but he goes for the Aqua Jet, actually gets a critical hit, which is going to activate the emergency exit, and I was like, oh my god. So, this forces me to go into Salazzle here, and him not having Stealth Rock was actually super key here, seeing as I don't get hurt there, and obviously he's going to go for the Aqua Jet, but Salazzle does not go down that easy. I'm a strong, independent lizard who don't need no Glossopod, and I'm able to live that just barely, which allows me to finish this thing off with a Sludge Wave. So, down goes the Glossopod, that was honestly super scary, and my Life Orb actually brings me down to 1 HP. I was like, oh my lord. Salazzle is absolutely coming in clutch here, as he brings out these last Pokemon, which is the Primarina, and I'm able to then go for one more Sludge Wave, which will take this thing out. Even if it didn't, I still had Alakazam left on me, it was my last Pokemon, but down goes the Mermaid, and that is going to be the end of the battle, as I actually kill myself with Life Orb. So we finish off this match with an empty battlefield, but Alakazam back there was just chilling with his spoons, just ready to go. But I thought that was just a really interesting battle, that last play with the Emergency Exit Trace was... Honestly, it had me thinking. I was like, oh my god, I might be screwed here. But that is going to be the end of the match. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed. And I will have some more Wi-Fi battles up as soon as possible. So, peace out.